Good afternoon. Hi, everyone. Welcome again to another Chaos Africa by weekly meeting. And you see, I'm putting a lot of. Uh, somebody said they were going to facilitate today, but they're not here. Um, I think that. Uh, that's um, I think. I think Peculia said she can take it too. Actually, I do want to take it because our uh, facilitator is not here. Um, right. Okay, can I can I join? Just give me a minute. Would, yes, I'll take it. Let me join on my PC. Okay, no worries. I'll I'll get started while you're before you're back. Um, hi everybody, welcome back. I was supposed to put, you know that. Um, the questions are usually up for the day, but I kind of forget it. Um, so, hope everyone is doing great. You can add your name to the agenda. Yes, you said the agenda item. Very full agenda today. And a lot of exciting things to talk about. So, please add your name to the agenda. Um, Um, I don't think are pretty. Are you back? Not yet. Somebody's muted. Um, while Pecuria gets back, I'm trying to see if there are new commas here. Hmm. All these faces are familiar. I think we've met everybody. So, Karba, have you joined any meeting before? Um, I think I joined one, um, but I can't remember which. Mm. But it's not this one, yeah? Because we have a lot of meetings in chaos. So. No, 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 not this one. This is the first okay. time, yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Please can you introduce yourself. Where let us know where you're joining us from and what you do. Um, good day everyone. My name is Sokari Ball, Sending Ball Sokari Ball. I'm joining from Potakas right now. And in terms of what I do, I do a lot of idea validation and software development. Idea validation in the sense that um when you have an idea and you want to check the market viability of the idea or if the idea is something feasible for you to go ahead with. Okay, so I'm that guy you call. And also I do software development. So nice to be here. Nice to meet, I know Sokari, but <laughs> nice to meet you here. Um, and it's interesting you do a lot of idea validation because we have a lot of ideas in this particular meeting to talk about. <laughs> so I'm sure you are going to, you are going to be speaking a lot today. So get ready. Uh, Right. Um, yeah, so, um, okay, um, I think, I think you're the only person that I'm seeing that's new. Oh, let me see. Uh, maybe I'll call people that have not joined this meeting, like, ages, special. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, good afternoon. Okay, um, Masinachi. Have you joined the meeting before? Just check in. So we welcome. Just say hi. I don't think I've seen you before. Hi, Ruth. This is yeah. my first time joining the meeting. Okay, welcome. Um, can you um, introduce yourself? What person you are joining you from? And okay, I'm back. I that, please. Yeah, can you introduce yourself and let us know where you're joining from and what you do? Okay. My name is Iwan Zumas Nachimeri. I'm a sustained administrator mm -hmm. and also a STEM educator. That's awesome. Where are you joining from? From Lagos, Nigeria. Oh, nice. I mean, also in Lagos, system admin. I don't think I know any. I mean, nice to meet you, uh, Maxine. Okay, thank you. Uh, 
Yeah. So welcome every other person. Um, and we have a very full room today, which is exciting. Um, Ryan, have you joined any of these meetings before? I, I don't think you have. Maybe I might have, like this particular Chaos Africa meeting. No, I haven't. Oh. OK, could you introduce yourself? Oh, OK, sure. So I am Brian Kayumanyumba. I come from, I'm currently in Kilifi, Kenya. I am a machine learning engineer and a technical writer. I'm passionate about open source. And I'm also glad to be here. It's my first time joining the Chaos Africa American meeting. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Brian. So nice to meet you. Um, I think yeah, you introduced yourself sometime and I connected you with uh, Catherine. So welcome, Brian. Um, hi, Onyi. Um, could you introduce yourself as well? We have another Onyi, so I thought you were the other one. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Yes, friend. Hello, everyone. I'm Onye, I'm a DevOps slash observability engineer, and I'm joining from Lagos. I don't think Faith is here. Faith is also a DevOps um, person. So, cool. I think Faith is here. So. Yeah, I'm here. Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, I think welcome to everybody once again. <laughs> so we don't spend all the time welcoming everybody. Um, Enoch, do you have like the badging website? So we've been building to just to add some context. We've been building a badging website. If somebody can drop the link in the chat, that would be great. And thank you very much to Mary Blessing and Busayo. They have been nudging people that have taken like um, taking up issues to fix on the bad website and they haven't fixed them for some reason. And they have been nudging people and we are signing people to fix those issues. So thank you very much, Mary Blessing and Busayo. Thank you, Eton. Um, and thank you, Enoch, too, for you know, you know maintaining the websites, um, maintaining all the Antochuku for maintaining all the contributions that have been coming to the website. So I'll just pass it to Enoch um, to give us updates on how far the website has gone. Let me try to find the link to the website so that I'll present it as well. Um, community. Okay, my tabs are very budging. Budging K. You would have just dropped this in the chat. Why is stressing my life? <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Okay. Ah, Mary, Mary Blessing is giving another. It's okay. Um, I guess I have a few words to say since there is a lot to present visually than verbally. But um, so far, I want to say thanks to a lot of contributors who have been, um, I think, Mary Blessing has been doing um, some good work into reminding people and also reminding me inclusive into attending to the technical issues concerning the website. And I want to say that um, there is a lot of progress happening right now. If you go to our repository right now in the, the so, iBadging organization, yeah, this it is the most active. <laughs> And I think um, there was um, activity around it. I just click on the organization. Yeah, you can see it up there. It's the first and the most active. There was an update one hour ago. I think I made some merge. Oh, so some oh, merge. Sorry, sorry for cutting short. You know, why are you both confusing me? Did you change the name of the repository? Yep. Why? You call the budget budget. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. So why? Why, why we change it to badging? Um, it's like, um, I should say, not a rule, but like a standard for most organizations. Um, okay. The GitHub organizations that have repositories that are the same as their organizational names, those are mostly like the official websites or the main repository of the whole organization. But it's not okay. like a written rule anywhere. 
Okay. Well, it was confusing. Yep. So you, can, you can go ahead. Um. So I want to say thanks to everyone who has had a um, chance to contribute. I tried going through all the open issues and um, pull requests. Today when I woke up, there were nine pull requests, but oh. at least I've been able to merge five and we still have four. I also created some issues. I think the first four issues, I created them between yesterday and today. And um, I had a chance to look through all the other issues that are below those issues that I created and to check whether they are still valid or someone is working on them. But I I think I'm so confident that I have extra eyes looking out on um, stale issues and pull requests. That's merry blessings. So sometimes I'm like, ah, I'll wait for her to tell me. But <laughs> of course, um, I also have a chance to go and look through all those. So I want to say that um, so far our progress on the budging website, if you can scroll back to the budging website and um, the community. Okay, give me one minute. Okay, yeah, go back. Yeah, so far, if you can scroll through, what we are now missing is um um go no 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 go up. You said scroll. click on budget events. Bad no, down here on the left, on the left, on the left. Yeah. That was our latest update so far. I think that was the last branch I merged. Hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah, and I Kingsley may Kingsley may feel irritated or happy depending on what he was intending this to look like. You know, a designer may have another idea in mind, and the implementation is so different. <laughs> so it could irritate him, or he feels happy about it. But if you go to apply for a badge, huh. yeah, so that is one page that is actually needing work. Other pages have been touched on at least to a certain degree, but that one is so fresh and so clean and so it's like a skeleton, nothing has been done on it. So I want to create an issue about it. I hope um, someone can take it up. Once that is, um, done uh, i think it will be time to migrate our application process from chaos.community to budging.chaos.community um, i also created an issue about the content that has to go in those sections yeah sure yeah and um, mary blessing took it up i linked her to anita had created some content but we didn't look through it i think because we we were low on contributions by the time she created that. So I linked a document to Mary Blessing so that she can continue from where Anita had um, stopped. Um, apart from that, uh, I want to say that uh, I've been working with Faith, um, trying to create some issues and also resolve some things concerning um, DevOps. And I hope I am... Um, actually helpful. Right now, uh, we created some issues that were around, uh, if you can go to a repository in Budging, go to Budging um, GitHub. Yeah, go to Budging. This Look one? for a repository called Bot Scripts, something like that. Yeah, the second one. Okay. The second repository after Budging. Yeah, this is bot scripts. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm uh, so um, um, been working with Faith. I think um, in one of the meetings I didn't attend, she she was directed to me, and um, we're trying to work together to see that um, we can have this um section of um the budging bot up and running. It is um, it's it's it 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 helps, it helps those who want to develop and maintain the budging board, set up the budging board easily without having um, anything missed along the process of um, setting up their local environment. So I'm working with um, Faith, trying to help her around to make sure that um, she can get the best out of the community and also she can also be of importance here while we are utilizing her skills in DevOps. 
So um, for all others who want to contribute to Chaos or Chaos Africa in technical way by um, writing software, development, programming, you can ping me up or check out our repositories. And then um, if you don't find any issue that um, speaks to you, you can create one or you can point me to that direction and we can um, chat about it. Otherwise, um, I thank you all for the teamwork because it's been mostly it's been mostly teamwork. I've been just um, trying to review and um, edit and do it, but most of the ideation has been from you people. So thank you so much. Awesome. Well, this is, that's why you were, when I, mean, I called you one hour ago, you were very excited. There are a lot of updates. That's interesting. I like it. Uh, <laughs> oh, one other update I didn't think. Our boat, if you can go to budging.chaos.community, here yeah yeah then in the url um you can just add slash api slash api yeah so our budging bot is running on that url but um it's really looking like a back end as you know how back ends look like <laughs> so um, um we're going to connect that back end to the front end when our part of app life web badge is complete so that um we can have it running very smoothly but for now i was able to deploy an api and also the front end on the same on the same url but on different um ports so you can access our back end via api and our front end without the api i think we shall be creating some back end routes and a document for that too so that um the people who are going to be developing the front end and who may want to integrate the front end to the back end can have chance to look into it and see how best to make those integrations. So I'll be putting up issues in due course. So you can always be checking around for new issues anytime. Awesome. So that's it. This is very exciting. And if you have any questions um, for Enoch, you can definitely yeah. chat him as well to ask sure, him sure. about this. So thank you very much, Enoch. This is I'm I'm so excited about our website. It's been it's been a long time coming. We need it up as soon as possible. Um so thank you, Enoch. You're welcome. Um you said you're you're available now to continue facilitating, right? Yes, I'm no. hi. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. I'm the next person talking to so go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hi everyone. I'm peculiar. So I'll yeah. continue from where Ruth stopped. The nice thing in agenda is um, case home Africa registration link and CFP. So okay. if you click on that link, uh, you will see the, yeah. Sorry, my network is <laughs> coming. It's okay, it's okay. I wanna see, uh, events coming up very soon. So I know Ruth will explain more about the events, uh, but I've registered though. <laughs> I don't know if yeah. you have registered. Please, if you have registered, just give me a thumbs up. If you're on this call, you've registered, give me a thumbs up, please. I'm looking for thumbs up for those that have registered. If you've not registered, please. Hey, don't worry, people are, people are coming up. Aha, um, aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, okay, sure. go ahead, Ruth. Yeah, so um, I don't know how many people are even coming for Open Source Community Africa. That's something I even wanted to talk about. Um, they gave us some discount codes for the tickets. Um, the discount, just before I talk about Chaos Con Africa, just so I don't forget, the discount code is Chaos Africa, I think. Yeah, Oscar Fest. So they gave us some discount codes um, for people that are attending so if you've not bought your ticket yet like 40 percent off discounts i'm trying to get the the register the discount code I'm, I'm i think i'll just send this as a message on the channel so i don't take up much time um uh, i'll send it on the channel um later on <laughs> it's chaos africa but i think in caps in all caps um, but I'll send it later so I don't take up much time. So this Chaos Con Africa will be co-located under 
like Oscar Fest. Um, and it's just a five, four hours event. We'd we'll be doing Tazon Tech Park, where we would um, talk about open source, um, you know, talk about Chaos Africa, the future of Chaos Africa, the different things we are planning. Uh, we'll talk about, um, you know, we'll do a workshop for people to get started in open source. There are a lot of, a ton of things, a lot of exciting things that are coming up for this event. It will happen on the 14th. So Oscar Fest is happening 15th to 17th. So um, Chaos Con Africa would happen on the 14th. So that's why I called it the collocated event. So you can come to this link and buy your tickets. And mainly why we are, you know, the ticket is 2000 there. And why we are selling, like the reason for the, the, the ticket is to get like money to run the event and all that stuff. And, also a commitment so in case you you're skeptical about why we are charging um so yeah so you can get the tickets here it will be at zone tech park um in bagada um if in the next at, by the end of this we leave 10 minutes at the end of the meeting to plan so if you want to be part of the chaos con there's like a whole committee that's planning the event so if you want to be part of that you can stay um by the end of the meeting to plan for this so i'll not take much time also we have a cfp open we have um, a call for papers open um on the it's on the agenda the means agenda here so if you want to give a lightning they want to talk about anything yeah they will definitely have call for volunteers as well so if you want to give a lightning talk you can um you know apply uh, thank you, Busayo and Ma for setting this up. So you can apply be some lightning talks as well. We we'll have we we'll, we'll talk about the agenda more when we have like a full agenda. But if you want to be part of the committee that is planning this, you can stay till like the, the last ten minutes of the hour so we can plan it better. I have some updates um, as regards funding and all that stuff. So yeah, Faith, I think you have to raise, you have a question. Um, yes, I do. Regarding the CFP, is it like completely physical or virtual is also acceptable? Um, yeah, we can, I think we would be able to have, and that's something that the committee has to talk about, like we'd be able to have an option for like recorded talks. So if, even though you cannot like participate, because I know we have different people in, Nigeria, but also in Africa, like other countries out there. So we would have to talk more about um, how to talk about So yeah. Okay, the next one, if we talk about uh, GitHub code partnership. Perfectly. Yes, Africa. Um, oh, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> I think it has a lot of energy. I love it. I love it. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just ran up, so that's why I moved. I, I think someone had their hand raised, so I just okay. Moved. Oh, okay, let me go through and see. Okay, Come on, if you have a hand, go ahead. Hi. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, I'm sorry to join the meeting late because I had to run from the rain, like the rain caught up me on my way back from school, so that's why I'm a little late. Um Yes, I had questions about contributing to um, the badging project and um, especially the part where Enoch mentioned um, integrating the back end with the front end and how we don't have the front end yet and um, all of that. So I was wondering if there was like a special onboarding call for people wanting to contribute code to the repository. That's number one. Then um, number two, number two would be, okay, um, I think Ruth already clarified about how to join the committee planning the Oscar. So I think that's settled. So that's just what I have right now at the moment. So I see that Peculiar is already um, taking charge of the facilitation. So I think I'll just I'll just let her. You, did, her. you did next week or oh, the next two weeks. You do it the next one. <laughs> okay. There's no problem. Yeah, sure. Um, oh. So, you know, I think that question is for you. Maybe you want to answer that. The first yeah, um, I think um, if I can get the question clearly, it was talking about creating a session whereby um, we have an onboarding, uh, uh, an onboarding for people who want to contribute. 
Yes, yes, yes for me. Yeah, I think um, um, I do not know how we can gather um, folks who want to contribute together and we agree on time to meet. But we used to have a time that was on uh, Tuesdays, I remember, that we had put up for such meetings moved, um, because it later it later became so hard for people to meet up and our organization and our contribution was so low but um right now what i do is uh, depending on what you want to contribute to people can just come up either hit me up in any of the channels or to my dm and then uh, depending on how you want to be helped, I can help you specifically in that particular area. Because it looks like um, there can never be one session where everyone who will ever want to contribute will come um, together and there will be no one who will come in future. So I attend to individuals dependingly on areas of concentration. Okay, I understand, thank you. Yeah, I think there is another hand or one. Yeah, um, I only do things. And we do you want to see something? You have your hand raised, so I'm just wondering. Yeah, um, so good afternoon, everyone. I have, I have a few questions. Um, one concerning the CFP, like someone asked before. So, um, what what are the main topics? Um, is it going to be, mainly going to be about open source, or I do we are you going to um, listen? Is there going to be the um, diversification of topics or like other other topics about tech and design and another um, aspects? Also, um, for for the okay, um, could you could you answer this question first? So yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, you can yeah. submit. It's a range of topics. It's not necessarily under open source, but somehow it should be connected to open source, right? It's not um like because then it's an open source event, right? So it should somehow be connected to open source, but it's a range of topics really. So you can submit something that would enlighten um the audience. It's um an audience of you know tech people. So um does that help answer the question? Yeah, and also it's in the same location, right? When you say the same location, that starts. Oh, yeah, like sorry, same location as Oscar Fest. Um, Oscar Fest um venue has not been announced yet. Um, but uh, we have our own location announced, so <laughs> it's but it's in the same state. <laughs> okay, just I I I think I saw. An Oscar Fest venue, but I don't know. I don't know if it was Oscar Fest, and then I just, I was like, what? That it's like traveling, and even though it's still within Lagos, so <laughs> that's why I asked. Um, my next, my, my next question was, um, my next question rather is, um, concerning the the issues. Um, do I, I know that there are, there are issues on the on on, on GitHub repository, but um, I'm I'm asking um about the styles. The, the, um, the developers, I noticed that developers have worked on some of the pages, but I just I, I recently um, concluded adding styles to the Figma. Um, listen, sorry, yeah, add, adding the updating the Figma styles for the, the Figma text styles, styles rather. So I was, I was, I was wondering, did they, did they make use of those styles or did they um, use the default styles? Enoch, I think that's. I'm, I'm really lost on the question. I, I can hear him asking about um, the use of styles. I'm not sure where and what he's actually referring to. Maybe you can rephrase the question. Okay, um, I was talking about the font styles. When I mean the font styles, I mean the weights. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, the, um, the font of 500. So uh, I, was, I, I recently um, named them and added them to um, the Figma styles and then um, this and arrange them and then yeah um, for the about section for the um, mm. about section for the about pages of the frequently asked pages for the um, di um mm. yeah website di badging website rather so mm -hmm. i was I'm asking did you did, did you um more or less may have this thing follow those styles or how did you um, okay. go about it um did you add them to the figma file 
Yeah, I, I, I added them to the Figma for last week. Um, I and uh, uh, I think I'm um. I, I, I'm not sure whether they were used, but higher chances that they were not used because um it's been long since I checked through the components and assets of the Figma file. I mostly use it to refer to the general layout of the design. But now since that it's come to my attention, mostly I was focusing yeah. on using um the designs to first get the whole layout of everything at least in place. And then I can go back and start looking at every particular um, section of the website and see whether it's in line with the whole um, Figma design. But um, now that it's come to attention, I think I can go and look at it in the assets folder of the whole project to check whether they've been used. If not, we can see how to implement in them in the global, in the global um, styling. All right. Yeah. Oh, great. So, um, yeah, they are also not just styles. They also they also created components. So, um, components that will be used. I'm sorry, elements that will be used a lot. So, we also created components for them. So, there's also a component page. So, okay, we, that's we, awesome. we, yeah, that's awesome. Um, in case there is always a change, in case there is always a change, you can um, and and in case you think maybe I I need to give it attention, you can always just um tag me anywhere in Slack um, so that um, it can come to my attention because um, there is no way I can easily tell when there is an update that's happening in Figma because I rarely check there. Yeah, no, I understand. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. Um, is, I want to ask, um, is there, oh, what's talking? I want to ask, do you add a label when you, uh, you add an update to a Figma because that would be better? Where you add a label uh, with a color and then write update on it so that anybody coming into the Figma will know that okay, there's an update on so 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 uh scream or so 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 page. Well, yeah, that, that that's a great idea. But well, um, so right now I actually um give my feedback to Kingsley or, or Lamy. So most times they they would be the one to note um this in once I once I've done that, they would be the one to notice that. All right. Um. He has completed this, and then I think they always have a way of passing it to the to the devs or, or someone. But I'll I'll refer this idea to to Kingsley. Um. Thank you for that. Okay. Can can I can I comment on that? Um. I think yes, please. I could have yeah. asked the question. Okay. So usually the way it works is um. Uh, we have of course we have a page where all designs you know that are ready for implementation are you know but like we push them to that particular page right so and um at that stage more like we're kind of like we've done like maybe 90 percent of all the updates so i i feel some of the things uh uh media mentioned are just the initial components and assets that are cre created for the design not necessarily updates that has been made because we've not really met any updates. So any design that is currently being updated is actually not on the implementation page. So the dev doesn't really have to bother about the other pages where we are just messing around and exploring, right? So it's just because on the implementation page and anything you have there is kind of like ready to go. Is that, that's okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, 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 there's one question I wrote I wanted to, to address so that everybody knows. Does someone ask if the talk for will be just one, if someone can submit one or more talk uh, topics, I mean. So um, you can submit that. You can submit for that one. That's okay. fine. Um, I think Catherine had a hand raised. Um... Mm -hmm. Um, yes. Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, Ruth. Um, it's so cool to see everyone that we used to be with at um, Chico Africa. It's nice to see peculiar here. Um, yeah. So uh, I had a question about the badging pro uh, the badging project. Um, I feel like it, the way it's been mentioned again, it sounds like it's a new project. Or are there other new new pages that are being added to this particular budget website. Um, if I get you correctly, you mean other, mm -hmm. other pages that are being added um, to the 
to the website by, by your question. Yes, because Enoch mentioned that he's adding new issues that people can work on. So I'm wondering, are there is it a different kind of project or is still is it still the same one that we've been working on? I think you know what is that? I think it's from yeah, what so, I think. Um, I can answer that, but stay on that page too. Um, so I met the other page that looked ugly. <laughs> and so we are working on um, the same project, okay. but um, there are very many issues that need to be polished. Um, if you can um, look at uh, um, the implementation that's so far there and how it looks like in Figma, there are some things yeah. that could actually be neatly polished to look like the way they are. And um, we need to also add in some beauty in the UI. Could even um, go to an extent of adding in animations to some of um, the transitions and stuff. But um, what we're doing right now is um, I'm identifying areas that have so far not yet been worked on, like now this part which Ruth is sharing currently. It's a very plain page that hasn't yet been um, styled so well to fit the designs in the Figma file. So the issues I'm creating now are not for any new project or any new page, but they're for the current pages and also the issues that are not actually yet tackled well. Um, some of them also include refactoring of code that is, actually, um, that is not actually scalable or maintainable in future. So um, that's what the issues are about right now. Nothing new, but uh, trying to polish the, the website and the whole project. Okay, all right, that's nice. Thank you, Enoch. Okay. Welcome. Um, okay, so if you have more questions about the website, anything, um, you can also drop it in the hashtag chaosafrica dev channel as well. Um, Priscilla, yeah, you can go ahead. I think, Omoliri, I think this is your hand. Was yeah, raised. please. And um, I, I request if. Yeah, go ahead. You know, I, I wasn't hearing. So. I, I, I request if the, if, if, if the questions are. If the questions or if the concerns are are tagged to me, just make sure you tag me just in case you want me to give it um attention. Because sometimes when I see messages in a channel, I like I'll read those at once sometime later. But when you tag me, I can attend to that quickly since I'm I'm sure it's mine to give attention to. Okay. Okay, so we'll move ahead. I will have the next one, GitHub Copilot. Partnership with Chaos Africa. So we have a, a route to take up for that. Explain more. Okay. Um, so this is this is something exciting, and I'm excited to share it as well. Um, so how many how many people have used GitHub Copilot before? Uh, can use the raise hand feature if you use GitHub Copilot. Uh -huh. uh, looking for the hand raise. Uh, Look at this hand is raised. Oh, just say something. Where is the raise hand feature? I because have, I've I used this before and it was developed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, interesting. Okay, that's cool. I, so, I, I, yeah, go ahead. Someone I, I think say something. Someone was trying to say something. Yes. Oh, I was going to say that I use GitHub Copilot. He said to say something. Okay, sweet. Okay, so um, the context here is um, so we have these grants from GitHub um to develop some stories around people using um GitHub Copilot in Africa. So the grant is. Um, a twelve thousand five hundred dollar grant, um, and what's natural? What would what would be working on, or what we will do? You can maybe read this document later, but what we would be working on is telling interesting stories around how Copilot, you know, is making the world a better place or Africa a better place, right? So they would like to fund us to help develop and tell those stories. Um, this is a very, a very big and interesting, it's a very interesting project that would do, uh, would, you know, um, 
somebody said most will use chat GPT. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> I saw it. So the, the goals of this project will be to develop three stories about how, you know, like talking about how GitHub Copilot helps um make impact for social good. Um and basically um we would, you know, from somebody said they are they are very good with ideas. So this is where everybody has to talk. Um and these are just potential ideas. So we need to develop like three stories on how copilot is like we need to formulate like or develop three stories on how copilot is making um uh, impact for social good. Basically, a prob solving a problem, the hypothesis and the results, right? How did copilot help do this? Right. So that's that that's uh, ma majorly the the goal of the goal of the project. Um, these are some potential ideas that um, um, Elizabeth, Elizabeth is the community manager of Chaos and I came up with. Um, so these are like things that we can expand on. So the first, and we need three stories, going back to what I said, we need three stories. Um, so the first one we thought about was, you know, someone from, we, we can have um, an NGO, we can collaborate with a nonprofit to help um someone you know that nonprofits like potentially create a website or provide something that will be useful to them using copilot now um and this is going to be for like this is going to be something i think this is going to be more technical so we need an idea a nonprofit and an idea that we something that will be that impacts social good so there are a lot of um keywords here social good impact and uh, using co it has to be using co-pilot to develop this um the no specifics profit. yeah the specifics are not and it can be any other thing these are just potential ideas okay. uh, um, so i'm just going to run through these ideas and i'm just going to open up the floor for people to talk about what they think and you know other ideas that we can think about at the end of the day we come up with three stories um right and so the other part of it is during chaos con africa for people that you know did not raise their hands up we can you know do other developers i don't know if it's really functional for designers but for people that did not raise their hands up we could host like an intro introduction to copilot session during chaos con africa and then um follow up by running a hackathon where people that participated in that intro session will solve something using copilot so it's like Okay, we created, we 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 um, educated people about um, Copilot during Chaos Con Africa, and now these people are participating to use Copilot to work on a project. So the idea is um, giving a story how Copilot is helping, um, you know, um, how Copilot is helping um, people in open source work better. So these are the ideas. And basically the deliverables are going to be, you know, not really, it, it doesn't have to be perfect videos because they don't want, they don't want a finished product. They just want raw, a raw format of the idea and they'll polish it up themselves. So the deliverables will be like videos and photographs, storytelling points that create like a cohesive story in three different scenarios. Um, so yeah, so that's the deliverable. So yeah, I'm opening it up to people to ideas. What do you, what are the potential things that we can do? Uh, what do you think about this present one? Like, so I'm opening it up. You can raise your hand if you want to see this um, to be determined or to be discussed, to be determined or discussed. Um, yeah, so if you want to have thoughts on ideas, what do you think? What can we do? Um, so I have a question. So yeah, um, is there a specific, like, um, like a general theme or topic that this open source project is supposed to be, like this nonprofit is supposed to be about? No, there's no specific. The, the thing is, it should just, whatever we are building should, um, the, 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 the nonprofit should be, um, you know, should focus on like, maybe they're doing something to impact social good. And then whatever we are building for them should, you know, be beneficial and be through um, using co-pilots. 
So for people that don't know what Copilot is, let me just, I, I've been saying Copilot a lot. So Copilot is like an AI tool by GitHub um, that helps you code um, faster. So that's what Copilot is for people that are not familiar with it. If you can just go to GitHub Copilot. Like an editor. Uh, sorry. I'm trying to search a different thing and different things coming up. So yeah, I'm opening the floor up for people to do we want. Yeah, so this is Copilot. It's like a pair programmer for people that are not familiar with Copilot. Um, I'm thinking um a project that centers um period education or sexual education, really. Um uh, Yes. I love that. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I'm just going to type. Okay. Something that's like really interesting that answers the questions or the lingering questions, especially around like our modern world, about sexual education, period education, especially for targeted at secondary school students, primary and secondary. Um, yes. So what would be like a potential NGO that we can bring with this idea to help them develop? Because that's another part. We just don't want to develop it on our own. We want to do it with the, with the nonprofit. So it, it makes more sense. I'm sure like there are like lots of them. We just have to pick the ones that are like, that have enough coverage to be able to like reach a lot more students so i can look into that and revert like by the end of the day is that fine yeah sure sure you can okay like the idea um okay um more ideas Um, I mean, there's your hand raised from before. Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, the use of this Zoom is crazy. No worries. Um, okay. Um, I think it's okay, but I thought you, okay, Joshua, um, Mubaka, you can go ahead. <laughs> I will that to you. A good day. So um speaking of topics, we could maybe this is me talking from my background. We could have someone talk about using um open source geographical data to direct things like policy making and town planning, just mm -hmm. general stuff basically. So using a GIS, they could use open source data to um, guide things like town planning for the future and also currently seen as most, I would say most Nigerian cities are dealing with cases like um, flooding and um, poor housing development. What can be like, you know, any perspective and view that this would fit in? We can work with because it's just like building a product or it's not 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 necessarily like a full-fledged product something um not really minute not really uh like that is functional that they can use um an ngo i i really do not but i'll find out from some people i've worked with that work with um chairs if they have anyone in mind and i'll let i'll let you yeah team. yeah like so 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 how this will work is would have people in chaos africa that would build this and there'll be like stipends for it um and like we're doing it totally for them free right and we're using and it's it's going to be faster because we're going to use copilots to do it right and then we are also going to document that process or document the whole the whole um activity we are going to so yeah okay so can we can we look at the direction of uh, maybe reporting like it's a harassment or at work 
or in different places project around that yeah it, it just it just has to be tied to a non-profit that that first idea right we need that there are other ideas other ideas can come up it must not be about non-profits right <laughs> so um like those ones that were listed here were just potential things that i thought about um so it's not just this one that can be there these are just potential ideas um you don't guess it yeah you can yeah go for it, go for it. hello good afternoon good afternoon okay i was thinking can um something about agriculture would that work mm -hmm. around Mm -hmm. What what would be the idea? What would be what to build for example? Possibly using it um like especially in South Nigeria, the especially during the rainy seasons, we, we could possibly use the data to determine determine how much the rains have been affecting farmers and the crops within like especially southern Nigeria. Like a weather, is it like a weather? Yeah, the weather, climate change and hmm. Okay. okay. I I can think of an NGO. Who I don't know how much their bureaucracy <laughs> will accept it. Yeah. I got actually I actually did my IT with them and they were I don't know how much it will I don't know how far their bureaucracy would, would permit it. But I think it's um it's an international NGO, so I don't know how much IT actually. Okay, um, this is, thank you for all your ideas. I think something that I will do is, um, we'll go, I'll go back to, I think I need a kind of like a committee around this as well, um, because it would involve a lot of planning. Uh, so who- Sorry, um, Rich. Yeah? Sorry, what's the time frame again? The time frame is short. Time before, is fourth hmm? before fourth of what June? No, not really before fourth of June. Like about two months time frame. I'm going to confirm that. Too. But I'll confirm about the timeline. But I know it's around two months. Okay. Right, yeah. That works. I think what you already have in terms of the the Akaten, the interview, and the um, projects for impact organization actually worked. So what we can do with respect to the impact organizations, because there are lots of NGOs, okay? So we can focus maybe in Africa or Nigeria and then open up application, okay? To do a basic landing page with, um, with fund donation and um, 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 integrations for them. So a basic landing page, that has the ability to enable them raise funds. Okay, that is going to be more beneficial for them. So we can um, send emails to nonprofits we have identified, or kind of make more of a publicity to um, allow people to apply for us to now pick from. Okay, does okay. that work? Yeah. yeah. It, so um, just because this meeting is going to end soon, and then okay. there's. There's another chaos meeting that's going to happen that I don't want to take over. Um, who wants to be, like, I want to form a committee around this to plan properly for this, because this is something that involves money and it's also very important. So who wants to be part of like a small committee that would plan this? Just um, Kate Catherine. I could do that. Okay, I, just, I, I'm also interested. Okay. Um, people interested. So just put your name here. Um, under here, Catherine. So you can put your, all your names here, and I'm just going to create this back chat later. So we properly plan and discuss this, and then bring it back to this group. Um. So I think okay. we have to move. We have we are two minutes out. <laughs> so my house. Just Looking at well, have, topic. Yeah, so that part is about um, other topic ideas for 
our open source series this month. So what will people, I know Mary Blessing sent a, a poll some time ago, what will people love to see in the next open source series? What topic? I'm, I'm of the opinion that we should do design, something around design. Or oh, data science. This data science, okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, cool. I get that complaint a lot of people about in data science saying they don't really have much to say about them. Okay, so yeah, I was also about to chip in too because um, there is actually a product manager in our community and, and, and then I realized we could actually use um, more people instead of just devs and designers. Okay, so so basically the person, like for data science, we need a facilitator, like somebody that would talk about like just the way we had something. Um, okay. I think, I think we can look that... for There are women in data science, so we can look for. I have okay. a suggestion, um, okay. still on peculiar suggestion of data science. Uh, I think, look, I think it's still maintained as month, right? Yeah, it's still maintained as month. Yeah, so maybe we can host a maintainer of a data science open source project. Um, that way it would sort of like take care of the question of uh, why we don't do like data science uh, talk and also give people like an actual project that they can get started on. Okay, that, that's a really good idea. Like kind of like invite one of, um, do you have any that's that are data science related that we can invite in and see now? It's something we can look into because um, I'm sure we can definitely get uh, from, even from things like layer five, um, even from, yeah, we, can get, we can get them, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think, yeah, we can get them from, num I, I know some Python communities that are, I, I think I'll maybe do that. Yes, research. I know women in uh, data science who can look into that and then, okay. can get, yeah. Okay. okay. Um, that's interesting. Thing. Um, so we are at the top of the hour, and uh, for this this part, I would um I would text out then follow up link. I do. You'll be sure. Um. So thank you, everybody. Thank you, Pekuda, for hosting or for facilitating. Um, Omole, we said you facilitate next week, yeah. Um, yes, yes, I would. Yeah, let me fix your name here. <laughs> okay, thank you, everybody, and I'll see you all in the next meeting. And please, um, don't don't forget, like, you can submit a talk for PlayerScon Africa, and you can also write to get that talk. So thank you, everybody, um, for joining today's meeting. We had a very full, a very full. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.